So uh, I was speaking with a client who was feeling like she goes from thing to thing to thing without much time for thinking and reflection. And so I want to ask you today, do you give yourself enough thinking time? And if we want to live a more conscious life, we want to run an authentic business, it requires us to have plenty of reflection time so that we can be more mindful of how we are approaching things instead of going by the reactions or going reacting to whatever is happening. Uh, oh, this person needs this thing or I promised to do this. Um, that we just bring more, like I said, awareness, mindfulness to it. So um, I want to share with you a couple of ideas that might help you to bring more thinking time, reflection time into your life. And these are things that I, I do myself and I, I find it uh, absolutely important. Um, so one thing is that I, I don't work for more than an hour and a half or two hours at the max at any one time. And I know some of you like to work in long chunks and maybe that works for you, but for me, it's really helpful to take a, a long break after every two hours at the maximum. Now, um, my long breaks are 60 to, well, at least 30 minutes, if not 90 minutes, it's between 30 and 60, 30 to 90 minutes. And during that time, I might eat something, I might take a nap, uh, I might go for a walk with my dog, um, but it's it just moving the body, get some, you know, get some liquids, do some stretching. It helps to move the brain. And then while I'm working in those 60, in those 90 to 120 minutes, during that work time, I also check in with myself a lot. So I do a lot of frequent breaks. So at least every half hour, I'm up doing a quick stretch. Um, even every couple minutes, I, whenever I'm aware that I am working, I will um, check in with myself and say, am I bringing love? Uh, am I bringing my care to, to the activity at hand instead of trying to get it done, as it were, which is how a lot of us right, like to, like to do things. We, we just want to get it done. So um, are you doing that? Are you, are you checking with, your, in, with yourself frequently? And it's a practice that I've had to develop because most of us are in a trance most of the day, right? Really, you are in a trance right now watching this video. You know, if I'm entrancing you, if you're watching whatever, reading something, you're in a trance. When you're doing something, you're in a trance. It's all trances up most of the entire day. But occasionally, we get an in-between moment is what I call it. An in-between moment is, okay, I'm aware that I'm doing something. I'm aware that I'm watching something. I'm aware that, you know, I'm trying to figure something out, whatever it is. And those, those in-between moments are so important to be aware of and to go take a breath, right? And then to just like, what, what can I bring more of, how can I bring more spirit into the situation? Or, or am, I, am, I, am I going about this in a, in a simple way, in a, uh, in a graceful way? Am I, am I going about this too complicated? Am I doing this, am I putting too much pressure on myself, you know? And so those in-between moments are, are good to just pause and then hopefully do things in a more um, personally sustainable fashion. So, uh, so that's, that's very helpful too. And then a couple times a year, I take a trip to go see family members. And during those trips, um, I don't do any work. I, I, I have no appointments. I have no requirements for my work schedule so that there's plenty of kind of open time and whether I'm with someone or by myself, I can have some time to just let my mind wander and think bigger picture thoughts. So what about you? Do you also give yourself, you know, during trips, are you, are you busy and are you doing things all the time or are you giving yourself time to kind of think bigger thoughts about your life, about your work, et cetera? So that's really helpful. Um, and just kind of day-to-day -day basis, I, you know, when I'm puttering around the house or when I'm walking to the park or or even when I'm taking a shower or whatever, those times, I call those idle mind times. You don't have to be using your mind to do whatever it is in front of you. 
those are idle mind times. And instead of idle mind times just automatically letting yourself get stuck into mental loops of trying to figure something out or uh, thinking about how you could have done something better or whatever mental loops we, we get stuck in, let's be more mindful of those of those times. And, um, you know, what I do with those idle mind times, I have certain things I remind myself of, like, okay, I'm taken care of by spirit. Um, you know, what's, what's the, what's the virtue or value that I'm focusing on right now at this time at, at, during this week, every week I've kind of like switch off to focus on a different value or virtue. And so it's like, I remind myself of connection to spirit. I think about some, some thing I'm trying to bring forth in, you know, character per, per virtue wise. And then I, um, evaluate, you know, okay, how, how's my day going thus far? And, um, have I been aware of my in-between times? Uh, how can I do something? more with more mindfulness going forward and then i think about the next thing i'm doing the next task the next event i'm doing and how can i bring more spirit to to that thing so and then after i do that exercise of of doing these things i then allow myself to wander or listen to a podcast or you know but a lot of times speaking of you know podcasts or watching a video or whatever we oftentimes don't let our mind be idle we just are going from task to media consumption, to task, to sleeping. You know, it's like our entire day, the mind is so busy. And so that's where, you know, we're missing out on this important reflection time. So we're, we end up reacting to life instead of being more proactive because we are reconnecting again to our purpose, our values, our spirit, uh, you know, bigger picture things. So. Anyway, I, I feel like, oh, and then let me give you a couple questions you might reflect on during, during your reflection times or idle mind times. Things like, what am I really here to do? What am I really here to do? How can I best contribute to the world? Okay. What is the deeper purpose of my work? Right. Um, what gives me ener What has given me energy today? Like what task or topic has given me energy today? Because if you keep noticing what gives you energy, you will learn about your own talents and strengths over time and shape your business to more utilize those strengths and talents. Um, so anyway, I have a blog post that's associated with this video, but I just wanted to encourage you to be aware. Are you just going from task to media consumption, podcasts, videos, articles, to another task, to, you know, sleeping or whatever. And, and it's just, yeah, give yourself the spaciousness of mind, thinking time. For uh, the client I was talking to, for her, it's riding a bike. So she goes on bike rides. Um, for others, it might be walking in nature. For others, like I said, for me, puttering around the house or, um, you know, you know, like doing personal hygiene stuff, you know, brushing my teeth. I'm... So anyway, I hope this helps. And um, I look forward to seeing what you do to give yourself more reflection time. All right, be well. I just looking, taking a look at the comments here. Yeah, Captain and Tara, uh, Tara, thank you so much for your comments. And thank you for joining me, Paul, Todd, Suzanne, and Susan. Okay, everyone, have a great rest of your day. Consider how you might give yourself more idle mind time today. All right, be well.